Hey guys, welcome back to the My Player Safe here on FIFA 23. We have, for a Cambridge fan, the most important game of the season today. Not the first one against Charlton, as you can see there. It's the second one. It's the big one. It's the derby against Peterborough United at the Abbey. Desperate for three points in that particular fixture. But... I need to make sure that I put in a good performance away from home against Charlton to ensure that I get the start. You can see top left, we're just in the starting 11. Just. Tomorrow we have, in the nature of the actual save, an even bigger game. It's Chelsea away in the Carabao Cup with Accrington in between. So, some massive games for us as a player and as a club in our career over the next couple of days, but we shall start on the front foot and fingers crossed get a decent result away from him against Charlton. The Valley is not a straightforward place to go to try and pick up a result at all. Charlton a very strong side, however, they are about level with us on points in the league, so we're having a similar season. And as you saw from the last episode, if you didn't, you definitely need to watch it. It's not just me getting the goals. The whole team is playing ridiculously well right now. We're gelling as a group and genuinely producing some quality football. So long may that continue. Please, as ever, long may your thumbs up continue and subscribes, subscriptions to the channel uh, and notification bells ticked and you'll never miss another episode. Of course, there was an episode of Forest earlier on today and there'll be another episode of both this and that tomorrow as well. Cracking on then, Charlton first, then it's the derby against Borough. Objectives away from home, down in London. 8.5's match rating is going to be particularly tough again to come by, but provided we can get the other two, which three shots on target, provided we can get the other two, we should be able to hold our first team position for that game against Borough. Been all Cambridge in the opening stages, I'd love to... Grab a goal in front of those travelling fans in the corner there, but the passing as a team, and from myself as well, does need to be a little bit better if we're to get that goal sooner rather than later. George Dobson intercepts. Charlton, however, the lowest scoring team in the league so far this season. So you'd like to think that means we're going to get a clean sheet. Go on, Bruce. Go on, Bruce. Keep going. Play him in down the line. He's got Adam May in the middle if he needs him. He's looked for him, and May will get there. I'm going to try and arrive in the box as well. He said it back for me. Shot blocked by the defender. Digby shot blocked by the defender. Both of them on target and looking to try and find the back of the net. I just need to stay on side here. I got a little bit carried away. Adam May to Brophy. Brophy played in again. Little back heel. Harrison Dunk could find the ball into the middle. Can Brophy find a cross? He tried. Dunk. Digby. Brophy again. It's dangerous here. It's really dangerous, but it's not going to end in a chance on goal. Oh, dearie me. That didn't count as a shot on target for me either because it was blocked too close to goal, which is frustrating. Lou Manil has won that, Will. Go on then, we'll have a shot on target this time, shall we? Nope, wide of the mark. I need to show a bit of acceleration to get there to keep it in. Now, I'm going to need support. I've got two men with me. We've been able to hold the ball up at least and win the throw. Told me to look for teammates, but that's what I was trying to do. There just happened to be two defenders around me. Spin that man. Then look for Adam May. All picked off by a defender, but they've given it away. As have we. Neither side able to really maintain possession for a prolonged period of play here. This is built brilliantly, but again, there's a defender in the way. We've had quite a few shots already, but the goalkeeper hasn't had to make a save because there's always a defender in between the striker and the goal. Raksaki with the opportunity to play that through ball as well, but Willow does well. Oh, Dimmy! Taking his time. Taking his sweet time. I say possession has been good in this game so far. Keeping it well at the back. Making that run through the gap. They're going to get there. Well, yes and no. Uh, literally no support in the box yet. There's Digby on the edge. Nibs trying to find the near post. It's a worthy effort. But it's not great. And another chance comes and goes for Cambridge United. I was played in well there. Slightly fortunate to come away with the ball in the manner that I did. But in the end, to still create a chance from that was decent. And we've had a number of chances. That was the first one, I think, that wasn't actually just blocked right in front of goal. Objective-wise, not doing great so far. We've got the dribble success, but no shots on target despite actually having a couple. 
Let's see, what's it say shooting? Two shots, but one blocked and one off target. So not great so far. It's a shame that the blocked shots don't count as shots on target if they were actually on target. I think they should count for both, but for the objectives, perhaps, even off, if not for the overall match stats. But for the objectives, I shot, it was on target. It should count for my objectives, surely, right? Match rating-wise, I am nowhere, but we are the better side. We're having the better of the play, and a goal is coming. I can feel it. Hopefully, I'll be the one to get it. O'Neill, May, Digby, Corn Adam. Oh, not quite. Nice idea. Good play again. I'll put the pressure on Wallach at the goalkeeper, and he's kicked it straight against his teammate. Oh, but it's still going to come back to the goalkeeper, and they'll get rid of it again. Not... Any luck so far? Again, continually as we start the second half, the football's been good, but it just won't fall for us in front of goal. Trundling towards a nil-nil this one, which is rare for this save so far. Digby. And to May. Back to Liam O'Neill. To me. Go on, Nibs. Go on, Nibsy. Go on, half. You're in. Nice touch. Finds me again. Right. Get away from the defender. I just not got the pace in that situation. I might have to, in scenarios like that, just take a pop shot from the edge of the box because... I don't have the legs to get away. Could potentially have gone to Brophy there. Brophy is now in, and he'll have the shot. It's a brilliant stop by Wallach at the goalkeeper. That's the best clear-cut opportunity we've had so far. Harvey's going off and Shallow Tracy coming on. I was at risk of being subbed out earlier on. That's headed my way. But it, again, he's under hit. Liam O'Neill played in. It's Adam May. Liam O'Neill again around the corner is Brophy. I'm in the middle, but... I'm not going to be found because there's just too many defenders in the way. We've got another corner. Again, I'm here, but it's over me this time. Lloyd-Jones underneath it. That's going to fall to the edge of the box here. Cleared away by the defender. Win that header. Oh, come on, Ads. You've got a challenge for that at the very least. Poor. Really poor. Get that to Brophy, to Adam May. Looking for me, but I wasn't expecting the first time pass there. I am at risk of being subbed out at the moment. But to be honest... I can't really blame the manager for wanting to take me off. I have not impressed in this fixture. I don't know as really anybody in the team has played particularly well. It's been one of those games where nobody plays well. And it's just getting away from both teams. Brophy will probably look for me again here. And I could maybe change the narrative if I can find a turn inside and a pass. The turn was really heavy. Digby. Oh, Wallacott, what a save. We've been the better side again in the second half, but continually, Liam O'Neill is off now, continually, their goalkeeper does keep stopping it from going in. Oh, we go here, please, Adam May with the header. It's going to come for me. I'm going to knock that down. Oh, what a stop again from Wallacott. Digby's effort was brilliantly taken. Wonderful technique, and I am off now. Joe Ironside is coming on in my place. And to be fair, I can't really complain at that, can I? We will watch the rest of the match to see if anything transpires. If it does, I'll bring it to you. If not, then we shall uh, see what happens. Oh, cleared off the line by Sessegnon. We'll see what happens between now and the Borough game. The pressure continues here in front of the Charlton Athletic goal. Brophy's off to pick the corner up quickly. And we'll see if we can maybe win it. If Joe Ironside wins it off the bench then he surely deserves to be in the starting lineup against Borough because I did not have it in me today. I feel like we'd still stand a better chance of winning the game against Borough if I was on the field. But can I justify starting myself? Can I justify getting myself back into the starting lineup after such a lacklustre performance here? Perhaps my previous form should allow me the occasional off day and a bit of faith from the manager. I'll wait and see what uh, live chat thinks of that. And I'll put that to them. Which is another reason why you guys should come and join me on stream. We record all of the content live on stream. So do come over to Twitch and join me uh, for it when we record it. And you can obviously have a, a say in what happens live with the odd occasion like this. And of course, see all of the behind the scenes as well. So we'll head towards the game against Peter Brunel. I might not, even with some training, be able to even get myself to the point of being in the starting lineup. But 12 shots in that game. 12 and no goal. 12 shots. Can't believe it. The goalkeeper surely got man of the match. We did get the boosted target for the dribbling, but 
No shots on target for me and only a 6.3 rating. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. Training simmed just into the starting lineup. We are allowing ourselves one off day, especially given the nature of the next fix. If it wasn't Peterborough, I might have been more inclined to say, OK, fair enough. I'll take a back seat for the next game and maybe someone can come in in my place and perform. But with it being Borough, and with me being the, the team's highest rated player and the top goal scorer, kind of want to be involved in this one, don't I? We're 13th in the table. We're only two points off seventh. So, and only four points off the playoffs. So definitely still very much involved in that potential promotion picture. Equally only six points off the relegation zone. It's always incredibly tight for those chasing the playoffs and in the mid table of League One, similarly League Two and the Championship really. But up against Peter Brin extent, again, in the starting lineup by the skin of our teeth, it by more ways than one with regards to the, uh, the manager rating, manager favour. To the Abbey Stadium we go again, taking on the game of games. For the first time in 20 odd years in a league fixture, it's Cambridge versus Peterborough. This is what we've been waiting for. 8.5 expected again. Team possession rate of 55%. I'm not sure whether we actually might have gotten that against Charlton. And again, I'll go for the dribble success to ensure that we get that objective. We have the opportunity to definitely get the boosted objective as well. Right then. The game of games. The derby at home. He's had a mate. Back to Liam O'Neill. Shiloh Tracy gets the nod on the right-hand side ahead of Harvey Nibs this time around. Shiloh into Adam May, looking to find him around the corner. It was a nice idea, and similarly to find Brophy, but execution not quite there. The rain is pouring down, which will affect the way that the fixture is played. But hopefully, we can have a much better game here than we did against Charlton, and we'll get the club back to winning ways against our bitter rivals. I'm 67 sprint speed, so I, I'm fast enough, I think, in a straight line to do something. But certainly, in most scenarios, I will need to look for support rather than being able to get away from defenders. Like that situation. It's just that my looking for support is going to have to be better than that. Oh, given away by Borough. O'Neill to me. Adam May's made a great run. If he's onside, here he is. He could have a shot. He hasn't. He's decided to let into Shiloh Tracy, who finds Adam May. And United leads against Peterborough United. Up the Ellers. Adam May tucks home from close range. Continually, the team score the goals, not just me. Adam May and Sholo Tracy link up well. Their number six can't deal with the flight of the path of the ball into the middle. And on his left foot, Adam May buries it. The keeper gets down to it, but can't keep it out to shot power too much. Yes! Yes! The U's lead the derby! Marriott. Hoku and Clark Harris. Marriott again. Option out wide right here in Joe Ward. Back to Jack Marriott and Peterborough level. It's a well-worked goal. Clark Harris, the man to put the ball in the back of the net. They're number nine. Balls, I think. It's probably the word we shall use. It's well-worked, though. This is just always a man free, and Lloyd-Jones couldn't react quickly enough. Ah, back to the drawing board. We're all square again. Brophy plays the 1-2 with me. I'm actually trying to draw that defender towards me so I can get Brophy in, in some space. And he does have plenty of space here. And the cross could come in. It does. It's to me. Goal for Cambridge! And we're the ones to get it. A stunning left foot volley. Pinpoint cross from James Brophy. And the U's lead again. Brilliant ball. Picks me out wonderfully. And well, the finish very good indeed. United! 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 Up the Ellers! We're ahead again on Derby Day! Talk about saving your best performance for when it matters. Marriott. Picked off. Brophy forward to me. Us getting the goal. Justifies our selection, don't you think? I think so, anyway. Adam May, Digby. Oh, he's gone out wide to Brophy. It's dunk forward from left back. Pulled back. Adam May into me. Players around me. I've got some support here. Liam O'Neill only really scores screamers. 
Digby blocks. I've got it under control. Ah, great reactions to pluck the ball out of the air there with my right foot. But the defender was there for the second touch to ensure that the shot was blocked. So far, as we say, I think justifying our selection in the starting lineup, involved in the first goal, scoring the second, and we will take that lead till half time. But Peterborough have had a lot of the ball so far, and with regards to our objectives, we are behind in the possession stat by quite a way. 36% is all that we've had, so certainly don't think we're going to be getting that. The match rating certainly could be achieved, but I'm probably going to need another goal or assist to guarantee it. I think 8.5 is just too much to expect every single game. Nobody, apart from maybe Erling, puts in an 8.5 every single match. And I might give that feedback to the devs, in fact. But into the second half we go, in front in the derby, into Digby. You can see, or could see, top left is actually carrying a bit of a knock at the minute. We've got depth in that position in the squad, so I'm not overly fussed about Digby being injured. He's clearly able to continue as well, so it's not affecting his overall capability to be involved in the game. I fully expect him to be able to maintain. Oh, come on, I'm so, I'm so clear right now. Their defence was so deep and still is. I get away from the defenders that are around me and squeeze it through the gap. No. Yeah. My play is good this year. Yeah, I'm enjoying my play more so than any other year, really. Ward into Marriott. Forward to Clark Harris. Picked off, but falls to Kwame Poku. Marriott again. Taylor. Ward. They're looking for their equaliser. They have their equaliser. And it's uh, Clark Harris again. Twice we've gotten ourselves in front. Twice we've been pegged back. But again, it's a good move. And he's just left on his own in the middle there. Turns the... Defender far too easily and buries it home. Clark Harris makes it 2-2 in the derby. We will have to go again if we want to get a win in this one now. Crazy first touch there. I've gotten away with that, but I think it's hit an arm. It has. Ward into Fuchs. Marriott. They're in the ascendancy now. Peter Brett, Taylor, Clark Harris for a hat-trick. Clark Harris for a hat-trick. Heartbreak at the Abbey Stadium. 1 0 up, couldn't keep it. 2 1 up, couldn't keep it. Now, 3 2 down. All Johnson Clark Harris as well. 4 2 3 1. I've been dropped to left mid. Harvey's gone up top. Liam O'Neill at Cam. I think Liam O'Neill might be coming off soon for Sam Smith. That would be my expectation. <sighs> Moved to the left. Fair enough. I shall try and do my job from out wide instead. Jesus, Clark Harris nearly scored a fourth. We have been some decent performances from right mid this season, to be fair. So we will continue to try and do a job. Not really got anyone specifically to mark there. Poku beats his man and then tackled by Nibs. Tried to get it to me, I think. We've gotten it away, thankfully. Digby with the option. Here's Williams. He's not got many options of his own, though, has he? Could go centrally. We might have to go backwards. Where's the right mid? Absolutely nowhere to be found. Are we making a change yet? No, we're not. Play continues here. 20 minutes to go. And now we are desperate to get a goal. To not lose the derby. We've been in a winning position twice. And now we're just hoping not to lose it. I can't believe it. Harrison Dunk will look for me again. I'll get that through there. Looking for Adam Ayers on side. Here's Liam O'Neill. Now being moved to left striker. And the position... He's all over the place now. Presumably some sort of 4-4-2 or something similar. Yeah, 4 triple 2 Myself and Nibsy up top. Brophy and Adam May at wide. Liam O'Neill and Dibby. So then maybe it's May for uh, Sam Smith. Edwards. Back to Poku again. Fuchs. Marriott tackled. I'll call for this. Come on, Dimmy, quickly, please. Good lad. Get it under control. Got Brophy with me. A little back heel to find him. O'Neill. Could play me in here. Right, this is an opportunity. I just need to find the right pass. Or do I? Just go solo. The defender's not closed me down. I've missed the target. How? How have I missed the target there? Mayer's coming on to play left mid. The defender... Like, there's two defenders there. There's two centre-backs. And neither of them really go with nibs or with me. Or close me down. They just 
hover. But how from here, my guys put that wide of the target, I'm not sure. There's so much of the goal to aim at there. And that just shows how far we still have to come with the quality of our guy. And I'm being subbed off as well because of it. Joe Ironside's coming on for me for a second time. I have got a goal today at least. Oh, but it looks like we're going to lose the derby. Marriott. Clark Harris is on the run. The ball over the top. Attempted but picked off by Williams. Go on, Joey. Up we go. Good lad. That's what Joe Ironside does very well. Now play Libs Nibsy in. Come on, Harv. Come on, Harv. Joey's with you. Joe Ironside off the bench! Does what I couldn't do. Scores the goal to equalise. And I'm here to celebrate with me bib on. On the yellows. Well, from 1-0 up and 2-1 up, to be 3-2 down was devastating. But to get a point, I have to be happy with that. I got a goal as well, but Nibsy into Joe Ironside, who's thumped that from the edge of the box. There was no chance of that not going in. Joey scores. I might be out of the starting lineup for the next one, but again, I don't feel like I deserve to be out of the starting lineup for the next one, considering I did get a goal in this game. I might have missed that glorious chance to equalise for us. And my replacement has come off the bench to score that equalising goal. But there were plenty of opportunities when I was on the subs bench every time. That I was making the difference off the bench and scoring the goals and wasn't getting thrown in the starting lineup. So whilst it might be harsh to Joey, he gets an 8.1. Off the bench for six minutes, scores an equalising goal, gets an 8.1. I think I'll still keep myself in the starting lineup for the next episode because I think it would be unfair to drop me. I had a, I had an iffy game, but we followed that up with a good individual performance and scoring a goal. We get a point against Peterborough. On the back of the game against Charlton, which sees us in the table now 12th. So moving forward after our two draws today. Tomorrow it's Accrington Stanley and then Chelsea away in the Carabao Cup. I'm on the subs bench again. I will train to get myself back into the starting lineup to ensure that we are a feature for the game against Accrington, Accrington. But that will draw us to a close for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching as ever. Really appreciate the support. Do make sure you're continuing to drop your thumbs up on the videos and uh, leaving your comments in the feedback. So leaving your feedback in the comments because it really does genuinely help. We've got nearly 4,000 personality points now and we're split at the minute between Maverick and Heartbeat. With a little bit in Virtuoso. And that's basically where we've been for the whole save so far, isn't it? Pretty much. Regardless, I might add perhaps a little bit to my player now. Again, we've got 16 skill points. I might do that at the beginning of the next episode. So that'll be all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like. Subscribe. Leave me your feedback in the comments section. We couldn't quite see it through, the win against, in the, the win against Peterborough in the derby. But at least we didn't lose it. Fingers crossed, back to winning ways again tomorrow. Accrington Stanley and then Chelsea. Don't miss it. I'll see you then.